one of the most epic villains in the MonsterVerse is about to arrive in Godzilla vs. Kong The New Empire. This guy has already killed many titans, and in this video, I'm going to show you 7 incredibly powerful kaijus that Scar King has already defeated, let's get started. Welcome to Nerds Insights, channel your daily portal for nerd news, but in order for me to keep you informed about everything that's happening, I need you to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell, this way every time there's a new news, you'll be notified, and if you leave a like it would be greatly appreciated, thank you from the bottom of my heart, and let's get to the news. Please note that all the kaijus I'm going to talk about in this video are not figments of my imagination, I'm using official images from the Battle of the Ancestors in the Monsterverse and the teaser of Godzilla vs Kong 2. Let's start with Mothra. Scar King also fought against Mothra, the queen of all kaijus, and simply crushed her, but not exactly, because Mothra is immortal, did you know that? Whenever Mothra is about to die, she lays an egg and transfers her consciousness to that egg, so her body dies but her mind is transferred to the egg until she is reborn again. King Caesar Going back a bit to the trailer of Godzilla vs Kong The New Empire, we have King Caesar. The teaser shows some kaiju remains, and one of them shows the head and ear of Caesar, so it's likely that Scar King also managed to defeat King Caesar. Scroll Crawler This one is a bit uncertain because according to the official images we have from the paintings on the walls depicting the Battle of the Ancestors, we see what appears to be Scar King and his soldiers, honestly. I believe that Scar King sent some scroll crawlers to kill Kong's parents and bring the Kong species to extinction. Anguirus. Anguirus many people have been asking for Anguirus to appear, but he already made an official appearance in Godzilla 2 King of the Monsters and also in the trailer for Godzilla vs Kong The New Empire. Anguirus's first appearance is in the battle between Godzilla and King Ghidorah in the sea. The oxygen destroyer bomb hits both of them, and Godzilla becomes weak and seeks shelter. When they were taking the oxygen destroyer bomb to Godzilla, we can see Anguirus's skeleton there, in the films. Producer confirmed that it is indeed Anguirus's skeleton. Later, we can also see him at the beginning of the Godzilla vs Kong 2 teaser. Titanos Baphomet. Titanos Baphomet I'm not entirely sure about this one. According to the information we have, Titanos Baphomet will have the appearance of a giant lion. If the scene in the teaser is indeed related to Baphomet, it shows some remains that resemble a lion-like titan, so it's very likely that it belongs to the titan species. And of course, we can't forget the skulls of Godzilla and Kong. In the end of the teaser, we have the skulls of Godzilla and Kong, which shows that this guy was truly responsible for the ancient war. To be honest, I believe that King Scar wasn't directly responsible for the death of the kaijus, but rather the mastermind behind it. Of course, he did fight Godzilla. But I think his true power may come from another kaiju circulating on the internet Titanus Shermo. If you want to know more about Scar King, I made a comprehensive video explaining who he is, where he came from, and why he's only appearing now, and if you want to know who Titanus Shermo is, I also made a complete video about this kaiju, its powers, origins, and how it will be the most powerful titan the earth has ever seen. Now, subscribe to the channel and leave your like, take care and until next time.